going on, you wild backhand enthusiast? Your two favorite Wimbledon stars are back tonight. We're back here to review a brand new movie, Challengers. Not this part. <laughs> Uncle Luca is back. That's right, with the That's brand right. new tennis erotic film, <laughs> Challengers. Zenadia is back. One of the breakout movie stars of the past couple of years. And here she is leading the charge here with a couple wild boys as the stars here that are going head to head as the movie goes on. Uh, first, they're friends. We have Art Donaldson, played by Mike Faced. Uh, he starred in West Side Story, the remake from Steven Spielberg. Then we have Josh O'Connor playing Patrick Zwieg. You might remember old Uncle Josh O'Connor if you ever watched The Crown, uh, which I know you did. So we have these two young actors, and basically they're vying for Zenadiah's love and attention. And you kind of uh, are meeting with them at the beginning of the movie where they're going head-to-head -head playing. You know that they're two um, big tennis players who've had pretty good careers one is on the up and up and one's kind of at the tail end of their career and they're going head to head here. And you have Zendai in the middle there with their glasses down. It goes back in time and you find out that they all knew each other from back in the day and kind of had like a, a love triangle going on with each other uh, when they're, you know, just young up and coming tennis stars. And even Zendaya's character, Tashi Donaldson, was this, you know, big prodigy and uh, eventually she gets injured and kind of uh, takes um, art under her wing and trains him to be this awesome uh, challenger, we'll say. And Daya was top of her game back, you know, in this film when she was an up and coming player. She has a really bad injury, really, really graphic scene with her knee going, basically giving out on her and, you know, friends with these two guys and ends up, you know, coaching them and, and trying to making them these big superstars. If you love tennis, there's a lot of great scenes on the tennis court. I really loved how they filmed them actually playing tennis. It was a pretty cool like uh, view from it. It looks like you're actually standing across from somebody as they're, you know, serving back and forth to you. There's some several uh, several awesome scenes on the tennis court, which is exciting, especially if you ever watch tennis. Like I used to watch a lot back in the day when you have Andre Agassi, Pete Sampras, and you'd watch some of those matches and just be blown away with how athletic they were just to cover, you know, one side of the court, just back and forth and back and forth. They could really do some awesome things. There were some epic matches. And then you get these two guys and they're at the top of their game going head to head. And you learn back in the day that they all kind of liked each other. Um, you know, at one point they're all making out together, <laughs> um, you know, all making out together at the same time. And they're kind of in a love triangle. And, you know, even the two boys there were, uh, you know, <laughs> obviously a little bisexual uh, as well. So it, it really was a love triangle in this movie. And, you know, it's all about kind of uh turning one of the guys against the other and making him a champion at the other one's expense. Well, at the, at the same time, you know, while uh, Zendaya's character is married to Mike face character, she still does have feelings for Josh O'Connor's character too. So it's like that love never died in between it. There's always this kind of three-way rivalry going, but at the same time, they're all kind of like connected and like have used this connection to like feed their plan over the years and their rivalry. And it's like kept them going, you know, whereas Zenadiah's character has been injured. She's put all her focus into making Earth this awesome player. And Mike sees that now and is kind of jealous and is they're all playing the match of their their life throughout the film here, but it's going back and forth between their relationship back in the day and how Zendaya eventually ends up with Art and how Art and Patrick's character eventually turn from like really close and then they start button heads and becoming enemies. And then that leads to this match here and it leads up into the conclusion of the match, which kind of just cuts away before you actually know like the outcome of the match, which was an interesting choice there. But, you know, just a kind of a movie looking at this relationship and exploring. It's more of a character examination than an actually like wanting to know who wins the match. And eventually like that, it was just a focus on this r weird relationship between these three people and how tennis was always at the center of kind of their affection for each other and for life. Yeah, when you're saying the end of the movie, I remember me and Molly were like, oh, 
like it was kind of a silly ending how they ended mm-hmm. it but yeah it's just a love triangle movie these three characters start off young and Tashi's character, Zendaya's character, this pro that turns coach and gets married and involved in this in a little three way. And the two guys have this makeout session as you're talking about. And that's really all this movie is. Nothing really unique about it. Like zero characters in this movie that I got attached to or cared about. It was just about tennis, which I'm not a big fan of. And, you know, just um, not terrible acting by any means. I just think a lot of the writing was a little silly. And the music choices, too, which really drove me nuts throughout this movie. <laughs> a lot of edm music for no apparent reason throughout the movie <laughs> there's like a there's like a scene in asana and there's like <laughs> do you know it was uh it was resner and atticus ross was it the, really yeah yeah some yeah. odd choices for scenes yeah like, it didn't it really feels, fit with the what yeah was it, it feel like it should be like a climax of a movie and just like random scenes of like dialogue and there's like dance mm. music in the background <laughs> yeah. i'm like what yeah. the hell is going on yeah i didn't really really didn't work in that aspect and i yeah. remember i did see their names at the end of the movie but i didn't know they did the entire score of the movie but yeah that got that took me out of the movie i would say early on just a lot of that those scenes that were unnecessary music and that added nothing to it i agree yeah it was overall unfulfilling um zendaya she was believable as like the tennis player she looked legit out there when she was actually it showed her actually playing tennis it looks like she she had a good backhand and everything all the actors looked like they actually could play tennis they you know it looked believable it was just the story and everything there was nothing really gripping about it or anything that i really cared to see resolved and you know if anything i would have liked to uh to know who eventually won and you don't even really get that so it's like kind of a, a lose-lose situation in this movie too just a kind of a character piece here between these three people and um, you know yeah it wasn't really drawn to any of the three to be honest yeah kind of a disappointing film and i can see a lot of the hate online about this movie <laughs> i've heard some people say they loved it but i just it's hard to find anything good i did like some of the camera work as you were saying that was really cool going back and forth and the tennis ball looked like it was like a gopro or something mm-hmm. getting the shots of them going back and forth and actors did a good job like making it believable they had the sweat dripping off their faces like it's a intense cardio workout and then the camera work is really cool i will say that about it but um you know the actors i did enjoy in this movie just a lot of the writing was a problem so that being said i'm gonna give challengers i'm gonna give it a two out of fives and die hair pieces. I'll give it a two and a half out of five Art Donaldson sweatband pieces. So I to hear from uh, all you tennis enthusiasts out there. What did you like about Challengers? What didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to stop. Subscribe. Also check out these wild rascals on Facebook, X, and Instagram and our website, cinefells.com for latest, greatest TV, movie news, and reviews. Well, it's time to go hit the court and challenge each other in an epic game of pickleball. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> yeah, Trent and Atticus, turn that beat up. So thank you guys for watching our review of Challengers. And until the next Cinefellas movie review, I'm Uncle Henry Hill. And I'm Uncle Logan Reznor signing out until the next movie review cheers Whoosh.